Hey guys, in today's video, I'll take you through the 5G network architecture in a simple way. Now, I know network architecture can be complex when you focus on all the nodes, interfaces, and various technology scenarios like interworking with earlier generations of mobile networks. But what I'm going to do is that I'll first show you a highly simplified view of the 5G mobile network, and I will then show you a slightly more detailed architecture to explain most of the network nodes used in 5G networks and their responsibilities. The radio network in 5G consists mainly of the cell tower next generation node B known as the GNB. A GNB may be split into two entities, GNB central unit CU and GNB distribution unit DU. It is possible to implement both the central and distribution units in the same GNB. But having the distribution unit DU closer to the user location is also possible. The distribution unit DU is responsible for real-time scheduling functions, that is which device should communicate when and what radio resources like frequency, time slot, etc. to assign to which device. Central unit deals with non-real-time functions. Central unit works with the higher layers of the network protocol stack, whereas the DU, or distribution unit, works with lower layers of network protocol stack, for example, physical layer, MAC, and RLC. The DU is closer to the site, whereas the CU, as the name suggests, can be at a central location. The split allows bringing the DU closer to the location of phone users, and this split can be crucial in use cases like edge computing by bringing data closer to the user's location. The 5G core network consists of several nodes, which we will look at in the next slide. Generally, the key nodes representing the 5G core network in most documentation are AMF and UPF. UPF is a user plane function, and AMF is the access and mobility management function. Let's now look at the nodes and functions that 5G networks use. The network architecture can be seen at at least two levels, the user and control planes. The control plane carries control functions such as signaling traffic, and the user plane carries user data, for example, the content of the YouTube video you may be watching on your phone. A mobile phone is connected to the base station GNB linked to AMF and UPF in the core network. UPF, user plane function, which as the name suggests, is part of the user plane and connects a mobile phone via G node B to outside networks like the internet. UPF is connected to the session management function, SMF, in the control plane. UPF oversees service quality and applies policies that the PCF policy control function sends via SMF. There can be more than one UPF and for low latency communication, local UPF can be used to avoid transmission delays due to long distances. Let's now talk about SMF, or session management function. SMF establishes and manages the sessions between a user device and the mobile network. It takes care of the management of IP addresses for the devices. It is also responsible for selecting UPF for the user device and controlling the UPF. Finally, SMF is also an interface between the UPF and the policy control function PCF, where policies and business rules reside. AMF, or Access and Mobility Management function, is part of the control plane. It is connected to the G node B and provides access and authentication. Network Slice Selection function, NSSF, determines which AMF or AMFs can serve a particular UE based on the service type the UE is trying to access. UDR, or Unified Data Repository, is a database where all the subscription, application, and other data reside. UDR is a centralized data source that works with Unified Data Management, UDM. UDM handles credentials and identity. And finally, NEF, or Network Exposure Function, exposes the 5G core network capabilities to third-party apps, developers, and companies. It opens up network services, for example, voice calls, data connection, etc., to third-party applications in a highly secure and robust way through APIs and SDK. 
That way, third-party companies can create tailored services by utilizing cellular services, allowing a mobile operator to extend their network footprint. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I've written a detailed post on this topic, and the link is in the description. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm posting new videos all the time.